Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2020 Volvo XC90R design, as well as learn about the features and other configurations. Before we do, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. The 2020 Volvo XC90 is an updated version of the second generation SUV. Unveiled in 2019, it features a mild exterior upgrade and adds new technology inside the cabin. The Swedish SUV carries over with the same engines, but it now includes an energy recovery braking system that enhances fuel economy. Additional safety equipment rounds out the XC90's mid-cycle facelift, which keeps the crossover competitive against vehicles like the BMW X3 and the Mercedes-Benz GLC class. The 2020 Volvo XC90 is a luxury SUV with two seating configurations and three trim levels, Momentum, R-Design, and Inscription. Three engine choices of increasing power are offered for most trim levels, named T5, T6, and T8 plug-in hybrid. The T5 is available in either a front or all-wheel drive configuration, while the other drivetrains come with all-wheel drive. Seating for 7 is standard, though the T6 and T8 powertrains in momentum or inscription trims can have a 6-seat configuration with second-row captain's chairs. The base turbocharged 4-cylinder is the least expensive of the bunch, but I'm skeptical of its ability to effortlessly carry seven people and luggage and while the t8 is the most powerful it also adds quite a bit to the bottom line it's expensive so the t6 is just right and while the momentum has a lengthy list of standard features i think buyers should upgrade for the true luxury experience either of the two upper trims is worth the extra money it comes down to your personal preference between the sport themed r design or the luxurious inscription. Obviously you know by the title of this video that we are going to build and price an R design. Okay, let's jump into this build and price review of the 2020 Volvo XC90. We are going to build and price an R design. Real quick before we jump into this, uh, I've done a lot of the competitors. I've done a lot of SUVs and period, uh, period uh, build and price reviews. Uh, I've done, I did the new 2020 Mercedes GLC Coupe, 2018 BMW X3 M40 Sport. Uh, lots of SUVs that this vehicle, that this Volvo XC90 competes against. So I'm saying that to say that I'm going to go ahead and put a link up to my SUV playlist in the corner. I highly advise you to take a look at that. There's a ton of SUVs there. Over a hundred, in fact. Okay, so let's talk about how this review is going to go. Now, normally, uh, car manufacturers have a gallery and things like that. There's no gallery. There's no gallery for us to take a look at, so we're not, we don't have a gallery. But we do have uh, the highlights. We can see all the different features for the R design and all that. So we're definitely going to figure out all the specs. We're going to look at all the features, and we're going to get all the highlights, and we're going to get all the information we can about this brand new 2020 Volvo XC90, and then we're going to build and price in our design. So with that said, we know that you can get up to 400 horsepower because you get three different engines that I went over, T5, T6, and T8, which is a plug-in hybrid, and the T6 is really the sweet spot. Uh, as far as seating is concerned, you've got six or seven seat configuration. The R design uh, only comes in a seven seat con or a six seat configuration, I believe, because I think it only comes with the captain's chairs. We will double check that when we get to the full specs on the R design. As far as cargo capacity is concerned, well, you can see that right here. We've got 85.7 cubic feet of cargo capacity. Uh, offers enough storage for any excursion, they say. Uh, and each uh, rear seat folds individually, so you can reconfigure how you have your uh, cargo space, depending on what things you need to carry around. And then all the way over here on the right, they talk about refinement. Uh, yeah, and the design. Whenever you talk about uh, Scandinavian anything, you got to always talk about the design. So the Volvo XC90 is a beautiful sculpture. So let's move on. So we can get a virtual walk around of the interior cabin, and it is quite 
beautiful in here. This infotainment system is gorgeous. It reminds me of one in a Tesla, actually, but the Teslas are much bigger. But they are, you know, they're a, a portrait design like this versus a landscape design, and that's pretty cool. Uh, I do like the leather dash, and look at the center speaker right here. Uh, it's very gorgeous in this car, uh, in this SUV. Let's take a look at the back seat. Well, that cloth, I can pass on the cloth seats. Uh, but surely we'll have, there's our panoramic roof. Surely we, we will have leather seats at ours. Love the little Swedish flag on the seats. That's very cool. Okay, so that's the interior. Uh, we can also take a look at the exterior, do the same thing. So let's do that right now. Okay, so here's our exterior walk around for the 2020 Volvo XC90. Uh, it looks like they're showing a T8 in this in the uh, in this photo here, but they're gorgeous, aren't they? With the Thor's hammer uh, lights, they're very attractive. Okay, I think we've seen enough of that. Let's move on. Okay, I take that back. I guess they do have some gallery photos. They have like five. They have five. Okay, here's a shot of the interior with the six-seat configuration because it's got the second-row captain's chairs. Here's a nice shot of the interior, which is quite nice. Um, and then, yeah, here's a nice... I'm sorry, the exterior, which is quite nice. A shot of the exterior, <laughs> which is quite nice. Another shot of the outside. The, the XC90 is very attractive. It's a very attractive SUV. That is a certain. It's quite gorgeous. It's got a nice stance. It's a nice. I really like it. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We've kind of figured it all out here. We're going to explore these features. So there's design features. There's technology features. Driving features. Versatility features. Accessories. Safety. So we'll learn about all those safety. We'll learn about all these different features. Okay, and we'll also check the specs, and those specs will give us uh, specifications de specifically for the R design because at the end of the day we are doing a building price on the R design, so I want to focus down on that when it when it comes down to it. Uh, but for now, let's pick up the features, and so the features are going to talk about just the features of the XC90 in general. Uh, so let's learn about that. So the first thing they want to tell us about with this model walking around, this is so ridiculous, honestly. To, to sell a car uh, elegant Scandinavian design let's just close her out because I don't even want to see her they talk about the light work right LED headlights with distinctive t-shaped signatures oh they used to call it Thor's hammer they decided not to call these lights Thor's hammer I actually did a build in price of I think the 2018 or maybe the 2019 Volvo XC90 and they call those lights the XC I'm sorry Thor's hammer so they're letting us know that there's some LED headlights, there's some L advanced LED technology. Um, yeah, what they don't tell us, they make it seem like these are standard lights, but usually there's always an upgrade in lights. But so far, I don't see any words that say optional or, uh, or uh, available. And those words usually denounce that we have to upgrade or pay additional to get said feature. And I don't see that. Okay, so we jumped out of that one. Uh, and so these next ones, I'll just sl go from slide to slide. But that's kind of how that works. That just That's all the information they had. They had that whole busy picture just to say something about the lights. Um, now here, they're giving us a shot. And they say, cra contemporary craftsmanship, sustainable luxury. So basically, they're just saying, hey, what? Based on the selected materials that they use uh, and the authentic and the sustainable nature of the uh, XC90, uh, I guess that's a good thing, right? Because it's got sustainable materials in it. Beautiful wood finishes, natural, contemporary appearance, 70% uh, recycled polyester so you can indulge in luxury. I don't really know if I want polyester. I like to get uh, leather. So hopefully we can get leather. I don't want uh, polyester just because it's 70% recycled. It's Does that mean I'm getting a discount on the price? Because the price seems pretty expensive. I don't get a discount price. Okay, let's talk about the power of intelligent innovation. Uh, let's talk about this next feature they have here. So they're telling us about the digital instrument cluster down here, and they're also telling us about the heads-up display. Both are very cool. Um, love this feature. Audi makes a gorgeous 
uh, digital driver display. Uh, and BMW makes the best heads-up display in the business. Not to take away from Volvo at all. They've done a very uh, excellent job. Uh, if you watch this channel, you know I love head-up displays. Uh, and if you don't watch this channel, please subscribe. You can go ahead and click the link that's down here in the bottom right corner. Uh, what else do they have on this page? Uh, they're talking about the navigation that's made easy. It's got uh, fully integrated census navigation uh, and a Volvo on-call app. Uh, the, that's uh, send a car function so that way you can send directions I guess right to your XC90 then of course Volvo has an app like every other manufacturer that's called Volvo on call uh, connects your phone or tablet or wearable device to your XC90 uh, some of the features uh, finding a parking space booking a, ta a table at a restaurant like you really need to do that the ability to remotely preheat or cool the interior, lock and unlock the doors, check the car's location, uh, you can sync a calendar. Uh, yeah, all pretty, uh, I guess, interesting things. I don't know about the restaurant thing. I could probably skip booking a restaurant. But other than that, those are cool features. Let's talk about audio. So the Volvo XC90 has a few different audio uh, options or a couple of different uh, the range topping Bowers and Wilkins, this is the big boy, this is their high-end audio system. It's got 19 speakers, unique subwoofer. They tell you that it's got uh, three room modes, including Gothenburg Concert Hall. It's got uh, stainless steel speaker covers, and it's got yellow cones for the speakers. We can see the yellow speaker cone there, uh, so that's pretty cool. Then, uh, I guess the next sound system down below that is the Harman Kardon premium sound system. BMWs run around with that a lot. You'll see a lot of BMWs with a Harman Kardon sound system. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, 14 speakers, automatic level adjustment, uh, bass management, nothing wrong with that at all. And then down here, it looks like be at the bottom, they're talking about Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Kind of self-explanatory, meaning that doesn't matter what manufacturer, what car, what vehicle you have it in. It could be a Ford a Porsche, a Ferrari, or a Volvo XC90. Uh, Apple and uh, Android or Google or whatever, they control how the system works in your car. And so manufacturers don't get to change how all that works. And so when you talk about one system, you kind of know about all of them because uh, they all have just that limited functionality. They have a limited amount of apps. But you can, you know, do your maps, check your messages, do all your music, all that stuff not to take away from it. It, it you can still do a lot but it's all kind of the same across all manufacturers okay what are we talking about here it says take command all right uh refined and let's see drive your way the xc90 offers a choice of drive modes okay so that's what we got here so we got drive modes uh and when you do that you can switch between settings that alter the characteristics of the engine the gearbox the steering the brakes the the traction control system and the engine stop start meaning that probably when you have it in a certain performance mode it probably doesn't have that stop start feature at, at lights it probably doesn't turn off uh, so it says that the comfort mode provides maximum comfort dynamic sharpens the car's responsive eco of course makes it prioritize efficiency and off-road helps in rough conditions and then there's a fifth mode they say that's an individual mode that allows you to custom configure what kind of mode you want mine would be heavily sport oriented Looks like here we're talking about the utility or the interior of the XC90 and it's practical and it's beautiful and all that. They're letting you know that each of the back seats fold flat. Uh, the third row of seats in the six seat and seven seat versions can be folded and raised from the driver's seat. Pretty cool at the touch of a button. Details such as shopping bag hooks, securing straps and all that. Uh, there's eyelets in the floor and a cargo net to secure larger items uh here they're also telling us what yeah again that they're seating for up to seven there's a choice of four six or seven seats each designed for maximum comfort uh, yeah that's not too bad it says the new six seat version adds a sense of space and luxury uh to the second row seats uh, and and the second row seats also slide and recline individually so that's pretty cool and if you get the seven seat configuration, apparently there's an integrated booster seat in that second row. This one here, we're talking about sustainable power. So, of course, they're going to talk about the XC90 with the T8 
twin engine hybrid it's a plug-in this is how they get up to that 400 horsepower here's that girl with all these super baggy clothes on uh yeah let's move on because i just can't look at that photo anymore so yeah that's the sustainable power t8 if you're interested in the t8 i think the t6 however is the way to go so let's see it says your drive comma supported so we're talking about safety features or integrated or available safety features like i said i can't really tell uh yeah well now we see some words available right uh let's see here's a word available they finally used it these are the words that let you know that it's an option at any rate uh they're letting us know that there's have something called pile assist makes driving and heavy traffic less uh easier right uh this thing can do all kinds of things it can keep you centered in your lane and do all that so uh, there's a 360 degree camera that's available. Uh, there's also this Park Assist Pilot. Uh, let's see, it says, let's see, is this an available system or an optional? It doesn't say, but it will parallel park for you. Uh, it can steer the car into a parallel space, just 1.2 times the length of the car. All you need to do is operate the, the gear selector and the brake. Uh, there's also a cross traffic alert, which when you're backing out at the grocery store, you know, you're in a parking lot, there's also a cross traffic alert. Well, now they're starting to use a few words that help us out a little bit. Here's another word that says standard. Good. We need to know that word. Like I said, we haven't been able to see much of that stuff. So this thing called city safety helps protect people inside and outside the car day or night. This thing can, uh, identifies potential hazards, vehicles, cyclists, pedestrians, large animals. This is stuff in the city. Uh, it also includes steering support, which helps you steer away from dangers as effectively and safely as possible. Uh, and then what do we have down here? Okay, they have something called uh, runoff road mitigation, which is a system that can tell if your car is about to leave the road unintentionally if you're traveling between 40 and 87 miles an hour. I guess if you're going below or above that, I guess you're just out of luck. Uh, and then this thing can uh, use steering and, if necessary, brake support to guide the car back onto the path. If the car does leave the road, an energy-absorbing structure in the front seat cushions vertical impact to reduce the chance of serious injury. So that's pretty cool. And then they tell you, hey, you're still responsible for how the car is controlled at times. So they're telling you that at the bottom, that it's still up to you. And here we can see the high-strength cage, the ultra-high-strength boron steel that they use, uh, a rigid safety cage, all the crumple zones, safety belt pretensioners, low limiters, all that good stuff to make the vehicle safe, to keep you safe. Okay, so the last feature, the last slide, there were 10 slides. Uh, let's create your perfect XC90. Maybe they're talking about accessories here uh, because they got a trailer hitch there. I don't know if I'd want to do much to towing. You know, anytime I see an SUV towing something of any size, it always looks like it's suffering. So I'm not really into the towing thing. But yeah, this is definitely um, this is definitely their accessories: cargo mats, running boards, built-in illumination. Uh, compartment dividers for pets and steel grills and things like that for barriers all of that uh, we will take a look at the accessories when we get to the building price surely they're going to offer those up for us and we will take a look at them uh, a closer look at them when we get over to the car configurator here in a minute the specs page is a hot mess it's too many little tiny words tiny things to be hard for you to see Let's just take a look at what they're going to tell us about the specific details of the R design. Uh, it's a luxury SUV with the sporting edge. It's got standard 20-inch alloy wheels. It's got perforated Napa leather, um, metal mesh aluminum inlays. That's the instead of wood, apparently, and uh, that's very nice. Down here, they've got a few more details about the strong design. It's got the contour seats. Yeah, you got the standard 20-inch wheels, but you can option up to the 22-inch alloy wheels. Um, and then, yeah, the Napa leather, charcoal headliner, steering wheel mounted gear shift paddles. This is the sporty version. And then down here, what are they talking about? Uh, this is where they start going back to design. Uh, unique front grille, gloss black decor, LED headlights. Here we go. Thor's hammer, uh, daytime running lights, give it a distinctive face. Uh, yeah, and then again, they, they mentioned those 20-inch wheels. Uh, so, yeah, I think we're ready. Let's go ahead and uh, build and price our uh, 2020 XC90 R-Design. 
Okay, so here we're on the page where we can actually select which model um, that we want. Here's our R design down here. Uh, just so we know the prices anyway, the base model momentum starts at 48350 So cost you just under $50,000 to get into a Volvo XC90, period. Uh, the Sport starts at 56100 And then, wow, the luxury jumps up to $62,600. But then you get that big T8 engine and all that. We're going with the R design that starts at $56,100. The next thing we need to do is choose our engine type. I can already tell you, well, A, we want all-wheel drive, and we want gasoline, and we want the T6. The T6 gives us 316 horsepower, 295 pound-feet of torque, and a mixed uh, fuel economy of 20... Um, not, it's not mixed. Um, uh, highway fuel economy of 26 miles to the gallon. So we're going to do this one. And, uh, yeah, let's roll. All right, let's choose some colors. I actually do like the ice white. Uh, the thunder gray metallic is very nice. I often see the see these rolling around in this color. That's also nice. You know what? Because I'm not super crazy about what color this has to be, we will just do the thunder gray metallic. It's a 645 upgrade, apparently. Uh, next, we want to go over to our wheels. I'm definitely about the uh, upgraded wheel. So we've got, here's the standard 20-inch wheel. Then we've got the 22-inch 5 double-spoke black alloy wheel. And then we've got these upgraded uh, $4,230 wheels, which they've already conveniently put on for us. How nice is that? You know what? I'll take it, though, because I like the wheels. I don't want to skimp on my wheels. Uh, I want the black perforated leather. And charcoal. This should be the Napa leather. Look at the um, sculpting on these seats. They look very sport. This is a nice SUV. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, an SUV can be your one and all vehicle. Uh, so this one looks pretty nice. I do like these sport seats. That definitely makes me sit up and take notice of those seats. Love the lower thigh support, the way the sculpting is down there as well. Uh, exterior styling. Do we want the illuminated running boards? Yeah, why not? Let's get those bad boys. Let's get the illuminated running boards. Uh, for interior styling, do we want the, I want the carbon fiber. So that's going to turn, yeah, that turns all this stuff to carbon fiber. That looks way better. Our design with steering wheel, uh, gear lever knob, uh, leather R, da, 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 da. Let's go over to packages. Uh, the heated rear seats and heated steering wheel package. We want that. The people in the back can have some heated seats for anybody who might sit back there. Uh, the advanced package. Now what's all included? Oh, that's the heads up display. LED headlights with active bending lights, 360 camera, headlight cleaning system. Yeah, for $24.50, we better get on that bad boy. Better get on that. All right, uh, we got that. Now let's move on to options. We're sitting at $74,180, by the way. Now look, we got all these different accessories or options. Uh, the park assist, that's going to help you so you don't bump in anything. That probably gives you the, the sensors on your bumpers. Um, yeah. Oh, no, this helps you park the car. I don't need that. Integrated second row booster, no. 4C adaptive air suspension, no. Bowers and Wilkham sound system, yeah, I want the I want the high-end sound system. Uh, what else do we want? Red key, no. We don't need any. Polestar Pol performance software, what's that all about? Can we make it faster? Uh, yeah, the Polestar engineer allows you to, let's see. Yeah, it's going to make it a little more uh, sporty. Yeah, let's throw some software in there and let's tune it up. It doesn't give you any horsepower numbers or anything, and it's probably nothing super significant, but that sounds kind of fun. So let's go ahead and do that. You probably can't do it after the fact. I always like my wheel locks. Um, I actually like this stainless steel rear bumper cover because a lot of people just drag their boxes and scratch their stuff up, but we're not going to do that. We will do the mud flaps for the front and rear. Whoops, I didn't mean to click that. I meant to click add. Add and add we don't need eyeglass holders and all this other storage stuff and all that so i think we're actually good there uh we can go on to the summary yeah let's go to the summary so where are we sitting at we're sitting at seventy eight thousand nine hundred thirty five dollars uh the msrp yeah there we go so hmm, if you like the way that i've built and priced this uh 
2020 Volvo XC90 R design. It's a seven seat T6 all wheel drive. Guess what? I can print off this build summary and that's what I'll do. And then you can download the build summary in the description below. Okay, so that's it. I've downloaded that build summary. It's the link is in the description below. I like the Volvo XC90R design. It's just under $80,000. And I guess when you talk about cars like the Mercedes GLC, the BMW X3, uh, the Acura, well, the Acura MDX, it also competes against, which comes in a lot cheaper than this. It's probably, the Acura MDX is probably around $50,000. i have done a building price on the Acura MDX of 2019. That's why you got to go check out the, the SUV playlist. But I've put up links to some of my other SUVs that this car has competed against along this video. So please feel free to check some of those videos out. Other than that, I'm going to wrap this video up. I'm going to tell you to have a wonderful day, and I'll see you on the very next video.